after two long hiatus, two year long hiatus, that is, the Cincinnati Music Festival is now back. We're talking about headliners here like Janet Jackson, Charlie Wilson, and also, of course, the city is preparing to see the large crowd. Oh, they sure are. And WCPO 9 News reporter Kendria LaFleur joining us now live with what you should know before you head out. Kendria. Yeah, things are just wrapping up here with a music performance from R&B singer Ari Lennox. Now, organizers expect to see thousands of people downtown throughout the weekend, and they want it to be a safe and enjoyable experience for everyone. This uh, is shaping up to be our biggest year ever. Cincinnati Music Festival will bring more than music and good times to downtown. It brings large crowds. The festival is happening at the same time as Black Tech Week and the Jimmy Buffett concert. This might be the first time ever that a great American uh, TQL uh, and, uh, and Paul Brown Stadium will be full. Um, which provides a challenge to the city, but a good challenge because we are we are back in business and it's it's so excited to be back. After violence in the Banks area, the city says you can expect to see a large law enforcement presence. All of your public service employees, your fire department, your police officers, we're all on high alert, but we're confident that we're going to be rolling out the red carpet and people are going to have a wonderful and safe weekend. A big weekend with more than 90,000 tickets already sold. While it's making a comeback after the pandemic, COVID is impacting the festival. Eddie Levert is recovering from COVID. So the OJs are going to perform, but without Eddie. And there is a replacement that they have for Eddie that's done several shows. Eddie had a very severe case of COVID. He was in a hospital for almost three weeks. He is better. He's tested negative, but he is so weak that he said he can barely stand, let alone sing and do his show. And R&B singer Fantasia also tested positive and no longer performing. Meanwhile, organizers are working around the clock to make sure the show goes on for fans who've waited two years. I'm super excited. This is actually my very first time being able to. I was in the army before, so I've never gotten to be home during this time. And again, things are just wrapping up here, but it'll pick back up tomorrow, tomorrow at Paul Brown Stadium. Reporting live downtown, Kendria LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.